Fabulous executive living bordering Oak Mountain State Park. Colleen and David Black, Keller Williams Realty, 356-5412. Call on Colleen. I'm James Spann. This is the Weather Extreme video. This is for Monday, the 17th of August. And obviously, tropical weather is the big topic today with one uh, relatively minor system blowing through Alabama with bigger storms, at least one bigger storm off there in the Atlantic. Let's talk. Skycam shots. Uh, pretty calm this morning. That's the uh, Inverness view coming from the Wingate Inn overlooking Highway 280. On the campus of the University of Montevallo, rain-free conditions there. Pretty much the same deal from Tuscaloosa. There's a water vapor satellite shot. Look at that big vortex over Canada and a big trough digging down over the central U.S. And uh, that'll be swinging a cold front down this way uh, late this week. And that could bring some pretty dry air for the weekend. Of course, you can see a tropical depression Claudette inland and moving up this way. Here's a look at the Eglin Air Force Base radar at 5.06 this morning. All of the rain is expected on the eastern side of the circulation, and it looks like we are going to be a pretty good position for Alabama to get relatively wet as the day progresses today and tonight. And really, tomorrow could be fairly wet as well, and uh, we'll talk about that as we go. On the convective outlook for today, we've got a slight risk over the Plain States and a little small tornado probability over central Alabama with uh, a Claudette. The wind fields are not especially strong, and if we can get some instability going, there could be a few isolated small tornadoes today, but that's the big question. A lot of clouds, and uh, that will limit the instability values. We'll see, but that's always a possibility with these uh, landfalling tropical systems, even a relatively weak one like Claudette. Tomorrow, the slight risk stays to our north, and the same deal on Wednesday. Uh, in fact, northern New England is under a slight risk on Wednesday. QPF chart, this is valid through Friday morning at 7. This is suggesting about one and a half inches of rain around here. Heavier totals down south and up north. And we figure with Claudette, we'll probably pick up about one inch of rain today in many areas. Here's a track of uh, the inland remnants of Claudette coming up through southwest Alabama. The guys at uh, the Hurricane Center have it uh, just after midnight near West Point, Mississippi, and then move it up to a point near Jackson, Tennessee tomorrow. And if that track is right, and, and most likely it is, that would put most of Alabama on the wet eastern side of the system. So breezy, periods of rain, maybe some thunder. I don't think we'll have enough rain for flooding problems on a major widespread basis, and uh, the tornado threat doesn't seem overly serious at this point, but we'll watch. Out there in the rest of the Atlantic Basin, there's a look at... Uh, uh, our other two systems, Anna and Bill. Uh, Bill is the organized hurricane in the central Atlantic, and uh, Anna is going to be fighting the uh, interaction with land and dry air. And uh, if that thing can survive, it could be a problem down the line. Here's a look at the modeling on Anna. And it comes right over Hispaniola. That is a very mountainous island, and that will disrupt systems greatly. And it's a big question of survival. Can it survive? It might not. If it does, most of the model is pretty consistent, bringing the thing north of Cuba, across the Florida Straits, into the Gulf of Mexico. And uh, that could be problematic. But again, it's a big if. And look at the intensity models here. You, you've got a big split, uh, but many of them, including some pretty darn good ones, ramp it up to a, a Category 2 hurricane at the end of the forecast in five days. So uh, let's don't write this thing off yet. Uh, but on the other hand, it might not survive. And there's the official track from the Hurricane Center. They have it as a remnant low. Uh, they are pretty much uh, well, on the idea that it will not survive or regenerate coming up toward uh, Apalachicola uh, late Friday night. And it will be interacting with a very strong trough that will be turning that thing north and northeast. And that's another big question. When will the turn occur? Uh, Bill, models are in good agreement. Uh, it's going to be uh, turning north across the open Atlantic. Intensity models. You got the range there from a Category 2 to a Category 4. Formidable hurricane. There's the official track from the Hurricane Center. Uh, it has it uh, late Friday night just to the southwest of the island of Bermuda, uh, staying offshore. Let's look at the GFS and see what this thing says about all this. This is the OZ run at 1 o'clock today. Flat ridging down here, down below that. Claudette is producing a good pool of moisture, so breezy, periods of rain, maybe some thunder. Won't rain all day, though.
tomorrow, very deep moisture stays in place, uh, left over from Claudette. So we figure we'll have scattered to numerous showers and storms. Wednesday, the moisture thins out somewhat. That looks like a partly sunny day with scattered afternoon storms, the front to our north. And look at that trough on Thursday, beginning to dig. Down below that, uh, deep surface low is up around Green Bay with a surface front approaching. And then on Friday, the trough deepens over the east. You can see Bill, it's moving north in the Atlantic. No threat to land. Uh, down below that, uh, the cold front is near the northwestern corner of the state. And Anna on the GFS, nowhere to be found. It doesn't uh, identify it or strengthen it. It's just not on the board. But again, you saw the deal. Uh, if it makes it, it could be a problem. Uh, but uh, that front interacting with Anna would pull it on up into the eastern U.S. And, uh, and then Saturday, we get in dry air. And Sunday looks bone dry, so we'll lean in that direction. We'll go for a, a dry weekend with potential for a wet day Friday and maybe a very wet day Friday if Anna regenerates and makes it. And uh, Monday of next week, we stay in dry air. End of the forecast, the 1st of September. Doesn't that word just sound good for the fall weather fans? Boy, look at the westerlies way up in Canada. I mean, way up there, so... Obviously, no cool fall weather with that. Uh, it looks pretty uh, standard right there for late summer. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes on the blog, the next video here by 3.30 or so today. And, of course, we invite you to watch us on television this evening, ABC 3340 News at 5, 6, and 10. Again, thanks for watching. Have a wonderful day, and God bless. Weather, 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 weather.